Hey everybody, uh, today we will be discussing the, you know, what's in the news and then follow it up with the three receivers that are covering this today, Charles Rambo, Charleston Rambo, Jalen Naylor, and uh, Johnny Johnson the third. Don't know if they're any good, but that's what we're here to find out. And, all right, so start with the news. Congress says Washington may have broken financial laws. Just everything's pointing out that Daniel Snyder is going to finally be out of there. And either Walmart, well, I think Walmart is on the bid on for Denver, so probably, probably the bald headed guy that has every, everybody's money, uh, and his own guy, Jeff Bezos. He'll probably end up probably buying the, the, comm- the commanders, the commies. And so uh, that, that's probably where that's headed. Uh, shine, pay up. Nine guys deserve the extension. Nah, no need to go to that. Worst finally gets Brady's phone number. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you know it's slow and that's a storyline. Uh, ATN on Jack's chaotic season. I missed a great one. <laughs> uh, not really news, but yeah, it's a story. Melvin to Miami, Pro Bowler visiting. Melvin Ingram visiting the Dolphins. Oh, that's a sneaky pickup if they get him. Seahawks pick up Fant's fifth-year option after trade. That means they liked Fant, which I like Fant. Um, first receiver off the board should be Garrett Wilson, followed by the next best receiver because you don't play just one season, which would be Jameson Williams. Projected an ideal top two draft picks for all 32 teams. Don't need to do that. Roundup, Bengals right receiver dealing with labor on the injury. Uh, what? Wide receiver T. Haven was spotted in Cincinnati's Red Games with his left arm in a sling. Had labor and repaired. Expected ready for training crap. Not a big deal, though. If he's, you know, taking care of him about his body, whatever. It's probably him ripping off Jalen Ramsey's helmet when he go for that TT catch. Here it is. Hey. You're gonna beat him. That's how you're gonna beat him. Stop sharing. Seven, seven. Oh, okay. Alrighty. Oh, got my cat in. Give me a moment. She's a feisty one. <sighs> Even though I don't need these headsets on. Um, I just like one. Okay, so I think yeah, what else? So who are we gonna cover first? We're gonna go into let's pull this up. Da 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 ba, ba, ba. We're gonna go through Jalen Naylor first. So let's make this full screen. I think that makes that better. Yeah, okay. Let's look at Jalen Naylor's uh, profile. So he, on the prospect grade, he's a 594, probably one of the higher ones we've looked at. Average backup or special teamer. Uh, redshirt junior, six foot, 190 pounds, 30 inch arms, 30 and a quarter inch arms, nine and one eighth hands. So about average. If I've looked at all the receivers, nine, nine to nine to tens, you know. If they're in that range, it seems to be average. Four, five, 40 yard dash. Eh, that's okay. Vertical jump, 38, 120, you know, about average towards the lower end. Uh, Speedy Naylor came to Michigan State as an all state football player, he has a state champion sprinter from a talent rich Bishop Gorman High School in Las Vegas. Injuries derailed his first two seasons in East Lansing, missing five contests in 2018. Eight for 138, two TDs, nine for 128, one. Okay. I'll get over that. And being limited to four appearances in 2019. Naylor started all seven games of 2020, though, the to lead the Spartans with 515 yards receiving and four touchdowns rushing. I might say that. 
had four touchdowns. Oh, 515 yards and four touchdowns. They have all these like parenthesized things as well. So they don't need to do all that. He played the first eight games of the 2021 season along with teams, bowl game. But had Andrew kept him out of the last four regular season contests. So it sounds like he's getting injured here and there. Uh, his strikes state champion sprinter named Speedy, ready to stomp on the accelerator at a moment's notice. Uh, attacks the cushion and leverage, threatening at a threatening pace, adjust vertical route to stack the coverage, which is good. Fluid stop and go, winning double moves, sharp route cuts, and bursts to separate. Uh, run blocking matters to him. Getting to positioning and braces up to, with the same footwork. Man, all this sounds like a, you know, let's uh, put him on the range and get rid of, you know, Van Jefferson. Missed extensive time due to injury 2018, 19, and 21. Physical coverage takes him out of his rhythm. Uh, occasionally focused drops on drops on stop routes and hitches. Somewhat sporadic downfield tracking and adjustment. Gives away catch space too readily. Missing hand strength to finish when contested. Sources tell us if he could stay healthy, you would have won you would have had something with him. But he's just for not not very durable. Scout for an NC team. Yeah, sounds about right so far what we've heard. Let's take a look at his highlights, see if he's a fun guy to watch. Throw some background music on, too. All right, okay. I watched a lot of him playing against my my Michigan guys, so let's see here. What would we got here? We'll, we'll do night driving. See, I think I small hands right there. Good catch. But this is better. I want 1080p. Yeah, we hate to see that. We hate to see <laughs> But every time it did feel like it, he was the problem. That's why I kind of remembered him. I was like, this guy was a problem for Michigan. He's pretty solid. It's fine with the coverage. Looking good. Yeah, all these are just fly routes, man. Yeah. I wonder if that was Gavin Newsom. Good hands. I mean, good tracking. Sees it, goes after it. Reminds me of a Jalen Guyton, Quez Watkins. Yeah. Tough. I mean, every time I watch him, it's tough to deal with. Nice little end around there. I kind of felt like he stopped on that rock and finished, uh, finished nicely. Quick hand off. Yeah, he just wants to go, dude. Yeah. yeah he's a step up from Romeo Dobbs. Yeah, he's gonna make a he's gonna make a team for sure. He's gonna be a number two, number three. I mean, if you put him with Amon St. Brown, it'd be a nice little pairing. Stay, we'll stay with the hometown boy in Michigan. So they don't have to get a receiver right away. And this guy looks like he wants to work. And then they said that, you know, run blocking meat matters something to him. That sounds like some biting kneecaps, you know what I'm saying? Looks good. He 
you like to see a receiver with some toughness coming after some guys instead of just going out of bounds. He's not big and he's not small. You know, he's like he's just an average guy. But he can fly. I think if injuries don't hurt this guy, he uh, well, he knows he's going to win that race. <laughs> when you're a sprinter and you see, oh, it's a race to one side of the field to the other, I have a feeling you know you're going to win that race. Yeah, if injuries don't derail this guy's career, like you can see it turn out. I mean, who knows if like his oh uh, maybe I see it. Oh uh, maybe I see it. Oh, it's trucking fools. Yeah. Yeah, he did that to us over and over. It felt like over and over again. Ooh, what a one-handed catch there. Did we go to the next person already? Jeez. That was fast. <laughs> All right. So that was him. I think he fits well with... He could fit in well with Detroit and a couple other teams. Maybe if uh, the Eagles get rid of what's-his-face and they go defense early or a different position, they can come back in the third or fourth or fifth or whatever, how many picks they have uh, in a different round and come get this guy. Because I, I think he's going to go late, but I don't think he needs to be. Alrighty, so let's pull up. Let's pull up uh, Charleston Rambo. Okay, 6'1", 185, 32-inch arms. He's a red shirt senior. From Cedar Hill, Texas. I think he played, yeah, obviously you can see here he played for Oklahoma and he finished his career with uh, Miami. A candidate for, he had a 5.6 on the prospect grade. Doesn't mean that these guys are right. Sometimes they just don't know what they're looking at in receiver. Not that this guy, you know, I can't remember the guy who did it, but I. I'm not saying it's, maybe he was just tired and looking at all these receivers. Who does? He's a below average player, which he may be. I, mean, I don't know. There's some diamonds out here. Four, five, seven dash, four yard dash. It's not great. You know, his his stats uh, aren't wowing me for sure. Does he have a team comp, a player comp? No, Lance line. Guy does a lot of a lot of good work out here. So I. All the credit goes out to Lance for these, uh, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, overviews of these players. He says, Rambo was a tenacious play in youth football. Made people believe Rambo was his nickname, not his last name. Signed with Oklahoma along with his recent uh, first-round picks, Marquise Brown and C.B. Lamb, 2017. He redshirted that first season, though while those two starred for the Signals, the four-star prospect from Cedar Hill, Texas, played in 12 games as a reserve the following year. While Brown and Lim covered 1,000 yards each, once Brown moved to the NFL, Rambo got his chance to start. 14 games, 43 passes, 7, 743 yards, and 5 TDs. He started 10 games in 2020, catching 25 passes for 312 yards. Three scores is serving as the top kick returner. Rambo transferred to Miami in the 2021 season. Though the Though a move that paid off with the second team all ACC, he led the Hurricanes with 79 receptions, 1,100 yards, and seven receiving touchdowns. Ah, biting my tongue a couple times. In 12 starts, Rambo opted out of the team's bowl game, which was canceled eventually because of COVID 19 issues. His strengths started for three years at two schools, hit 90 yards receiving in every game but one in the ACC. Drives cornerbacks wide to free the inside release. Consistently squares his squares his quarterback. Aggressive hands swat the. How big were his hands? I don't think I read that part. Six one one eighty five. Thirty two inch arms. Nine three quarters hands. Pretty big hands for. He's on the above average hand size. <clears throat> Route 
turns and brakes come sharply. Brakes come sharply. Patient and poised tracking the deep ball. Competitive runner after the catch. Uh, weaknesses. He's got a leggy release. Lacks suddenness. Press can take away his route way off schedule. Alabama cornerback stayed in his face all game. He, he okay. Uh, carries a lean frame. Below average play strength. Disappointing contested catch success rate. Career tape filled with too many easy drops. Production bolstered by easy hit screens. Yeah, but if you're a great player with great, you know, attributes, your team's going to find ways to get you the ball. That's my way of looking at it. I get that these are his weaknesses currently, but let's look at the tape, see if he's trash or trash or pass or trash or treasure. Okay, well, we'll skip this one because I don't remember what the beginning looked like. Okay, decent throw, good catch. In between two of them, good catch. Oh, a lot of open space, making things happen. Wide open. If his quarterback throws on the stride there, that's a touchdown. Does have a good 15 yard in release. Or for 15 yard in in. Decent hands there. I mean, oh, that quarterback's thick. Good body awareness there, not to go out of bounds. Looking good. Yeah, not ultimately impressed here, but looking good. Yeah. Good body awareness to get his feet in. One, two, yeah. Regular catch in the NFL. Oh, that was a great throw by the quarterback, but yeah, what a what a catch. Devontae Parker esque. Boom, boom. Yeah, great catch. Maybe it's still at the bounce, at a bounce area there, but still a great catch. Uh, that was good NFL awareness. He got off that cornerback. He saw that, like he saw that everybody was going that way. He knew that he had open space to the left, so he went to the left. That was really smart. Watch. He saw that he's going that way. He pump, pivot, yep. He's jumping up and down. It's like throwing the ball. Easy touchdown. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know if the, he's doing this or if it's just the coverage that's being played on him, but he's able to create like a five yard space in between him and the cover sometimes. That Florida State guy just needs to not ever play football, man. No offense. He's not good. Pretty much, you know, he's getting slacked there. Okay, there's the hitch. Boom. Maybe not broken a the tackle there like Romeo Dobbs. He would have fell down. Boom. Let's see here. Going deep. Going deep. Oh, hand in his face. He still catches it. Good focus. Good focus. Oh, yeah. He's all over him, too. Good, good, good. Yeah, I can see that the, you know, Bama cornerbacks were in his face all day, but I think he still made a couple catches. Like, And not everybody has a 100-yard game every game. Like, he had 90 yards in every game, every ACC game. You know what I'm saying? Like, Good receiver. I don't know this contested catch thing. It seems to be making some. Something... His speed worries me a little bit, but 
he's got good hands. So those extra little, every couple of quarter of an inch hands help there. Did he catch that? Oh, that's insane. Good catch. Respi Respito. <laughs> We're not coming to the end. This is the end. Uh, so this next one's gonna be pretty short. It says career highlights. We'll see how long that is. I don't know anything about Johnny Johnson the third. So all right. So to follow back on Rambo, I don't know. He just seems like a guy. I, nothing. Wow. He looks like he he was there, did his job, did a good job. Didn't do a great job. The, the, not a top five guy, for sure. But looks like, you know, he looks like a guy. Looks like a Jag. <laughs> I can see the Jags going after him. Miami guy. I think, he, wh where is he from? He was from Texas. I can see him going to Texas, too. I can see him going to Houston, Texas, in fact. They need a third. Why not? But, uh, you know, Nicole Collins, Nicole, Nico Collins, and uh, Brandon Cooks with Davis Mills, you know, it's a solid two. And then you get this guy, you probably run Cooks out of the slot and run this guy on the outside. He's big enough to run the outside. He's not huge, but he's big enough. And he's not going to win all the time, but. Need a, he just needs one like once every 10 times. So the rest of the time, you can give it to Nico, Nico, and uh, and Cooks and Brevin Jordan. It's just that's how I look at it. I don't know. All right, let's finish it up here with Johnny Johnson, the third. All righty, college, Oregon, hometown, Chandler, Arizona, senior. 6'1", 199 pounds, 30 inch arms, 30 and a half inch arms, nine and three quarters hands. So another guy with decent size hands. His prospect grade is five five six. Priority undrafted free agent. Below average. He was like on the very, very bottom. He's like second from the bottom. Ran a four six, so not fast. Vertical jump 32. Didn't jump very high. <laughs> Let's just put it this way. Not athletic. Oh boy. Any player comps? Nope. <clears throat> Likely slot wide receiver with an average physical and play elements that failed to stand out. I think I remember him playing at like one of the high school, like all American bowls. I feel like that's why I remember him. Anyways, he's not overly threatening down the field. He lacks the separation burst and consistent hands to make a living as a possession wide receiver. He target, sorry. A lack of overall production relative to his snap count stands out as well. Quick sink and present. Oh, These are his strengths. Quick sink and present on hitch routes. Rapid foot chop and route breaks underneath. Works into the meaty portion of the zone. Athletic with a spin move to help his run after catch, decent speed for crossing routes and slants, lays out in full extension to make catch, reaches way out in front of him to pluck the throw, sound tackler in his kick coverage background. Okay. You never know. He might be the special teamer of the year. Not what we want out of the best ball guys, but this probably guy won't be on our teams. Posted more than 25 catches in his one only season. Too basic and narrow in his release. Needs to stack coverage when his he is ahead. Needs to fight back. Her physical coverage will blanket him. This is weaknesses, by the way. Hands and ball skills aren't helpful enough to, to his quarterback. Jump ball skills are below average. Routes lack quality of separation bursts for the NFL game. So this is a quick little highlight video someone made for him. I guess 25 catches, so I'm expecting to see 20 catches on his highlight video. Let's run it. 
Uh, started off with a non-highlight and Justin Herbert talking about him. We don't need to hear this. Let's see here. There's a, okay, here we go. Okay. That is a good uh, all or nothing. It looks like he got hurt on that play. Good spin move. Wide open. Arizona State pops up again for a bad defense. Good hands catch there. Seems to get along with his teammates, which is always a good thing. Uh, yeah, these are not impressive. I mean, he's getting wide open blown coverage. I guess that's something. Uh, okay. Looks like he got knocked out again. This is a very psychedelic highlight. You know, it's a very choppy highlight, but it's all right. I wonder how he got there. Okay. Again, a busted coverage touchdown, but at least he could catch a busted coverage touchdown. You know, maybe he ends up in San Diego because, you know, the connection that he has with Herbert. That seems to be a thing. Okay. Nice little catch there. The focus on the knowing he's going to get hit. I haven't seen a catch that was contested one bit. It feels like, okay, there's one. Sort of. He, he does go, he, like, he, he does the ability to go all out for the ball. Such a weird highlight, too. I feel like this video quality is trash, too. I don't know if that making skewing my mind. <laughs> What's going on here? His, his effort is a quality. I'll tell you that much. He, if he doesn't go to the San Diego to pair up back up with uh, Herbert, I can see him. <laughs> I can see him on the Patriots. <laughs> Not fast, uh, you know. Just, just a guy. You know, they don't expect anything from. I, I can, I can see him on the Patriots making a name, blowing up. I don't know why. I don't know why that. It's like the first thing that came to my head. Or going to TV as like a running back slash receiver. You know what I mean? I can see that. All right. As always, y'all, that was a fun video. Uh, so I hope everybody has a good evening. Good morning tomorrow. It's, don't let the bed bugs bite. Have a good day. See y'all.